Hey everybody, my name is Jay and this is Eye of a Samurai. And today we are going to be looking at a few matches uh, with a different Amy player named Master CJ uh, going against True Circa, a maxi player that I'm not sure if he's actually gone to tournaments or not, but I've definitely seen him online a little bit. Uh, apologies for not putting out a video in quite some time. I've been putting most of my efforts into one, getting a new computer, which is now for the most part finished, and for two, uh, focusing more on my uh, Twitch stream. But hopefully I'm going to be able, now that I have other Amy players to actually look at as well, uh, hopefully I'll be able to uh, spread out my efforts in, in both ways. But uh, yeah, let's get started. So it's a relatively okay stage. Uh, we don't have to worry about uh, too many wall slash heavy ring out situations. A good block on that 4A. So once you're dealing with that break attack, for the most part you want to be doing stuff like 4A, uh, which is going to lose to basically only the punch, and if you get your maxi opponent to start doing the punch, then uh, then you're kind of in a good position in terms of reverse mix-ups. Nice step there, too. So it's a good ring out, uh, but one thing I want to mention uh, in this situation, maxi players tend to do this quite a lot. Let me see if I can get there. Um, the basic reverse mix-up after a 4A on hit, right here, uh, maxi players, and depending on uh, the character, maxi, anybody with a relatively traditional 2A uh, will tend to 2A in these kinds of situations, and Master CJ, along with virtually every other Amy player that I see, they don't tend to use parries uh, in this situation. And 4A is very quick. Any Amy player who remembers Soul Calibur 4 will know that mid parry is one of your standard go tos after a 4A on hit to get away from stuff like 2A and stuff. Most of what Maxi wants to do in terms of poking you away, his panic buttons to get you to stop pressuring him, are all going to be mid. Uh, especially if he's crouching like that. It's a bad whiff on the, uh, the 3A. So you had to get more used to the spacing and stuff. But that's a really nice um, whiff punish as well, getting the tech crouching properties. I'm assuming he didn't want the 2B there, maybe he wanted the uh, a 1B instead. But a nice GI. An interesting uh, choice to go with 6B. Uh, in those kinds of situations, once he's in stances, I tend to go for like a more high committal kind of thing, where he's either going to go for a mid, which can be mid parried, or he's going to go for a high, which can be tech crouched. 6BB kind of gets you out of that situation, but it doesn't really lead to a whole lot of reward. Uh, meanwhile, if I'm correct, I'll either get a 3A counter hit, or I'll get a mid parry, which has the biggest reward that you can possibly get. A bad uh, whiff grab as well. That kind of stuff is going to potentially get him in, in trouble. So I noticed that he goes for like the full combo there off of the Wall Rising KA. I tend to change it up like where I won't necessarily go for the 6BB. I'll just take the 3A and then turn it into like a 1B counter hit uh, or like, you know, pseudo setup, uh, which can be GI'd, but then my opponent, you know, will potentially get, you know, lose to like an A plus B lethal hit or something like that. But I tend to cut a lot of my combos short to create more resets, especially in this situation where I don't have red roses. But he ducks into uh, the 4A. Ooh, he actually, like, uh, if you guys didn't see that, he actually moved forward a little bit, uh, which caused the rose off of the 4B to whiff. Uh, if he had just stayed in place after the mid-parry AK, he, the maxi player would have had to block the, uh, the red rose. Ooh, he goes for the, uh, the 6-6-A. So that's pretty nice. Uh, normally in that situation I'd go for AMSBB, uh, but that probably would have lost to the CE. See there, um, it, it takes a, if you're not used to the maxi matchup, it can be hard to do, but that is a setup that can be mid-parried uh, relatively easily. It's just not at a, at a traditional timing. There he's uh, poking out with 2A yet again. So I think a lot of more mid-parries would actually uh, do the Amy player a lot better here. A nice catch off the 4BB now that he has Red Rose. So yeah, AMSB isn't going to be catching sized up there. Uh, you have to go for something a little bit more high committal like AMSA, but at the same time, your opponent might not know that AMSA is minus 12. Even top players tend to not punish that all that often. I also noticed that uh, <laughs> Boom is freaking out due to the fact that uh, the mid parry actually worked. I'm like the only person in the world that's not surprised by that. <laughs> and a really great whip punish. 
So yeah, relatively solid. There were a handful of things that uh, that were dropped, but um, still pretty quick. And uh, is you know, I, I think it was it was done pretty well. So let me get to the. Let me see if I can cut right to the very next match. So now we have an all wall stage, which uh, is I don't I wouldn't necessarily like the walls, but I do like the fact that it's uh, the stage is relatively small. By the way, that was an incredible threading of the needle. I really appreciated that. So off of the uh, the high parry K, he ends up going for a grab, which leads me to believe that if you were to do um, AMS or if you were to do high parry K more often, then you could just immediately go into a mash and probably catch him with like uh, a 3A counter hit. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the reverse mix up there. Another 2A, but, you know, if you wanted to do a tech crouch, you could get a 3A instead. I'm assuming he didn't want the AMSK in that situation, and 4B isn't going to really work in that situation either. Pretty good, uh, pretty good pressure. He's got one rose. Ooh, not necessarily all that used to maxi stances, potentially. Uh, I didn't really like that grab. Wow, True Circle was a little bit adamant there. Interesting. You go for uh, the AMS AK. Um, I guess uh, I'm assuming the uh, the Amy player thought that that was going to kill. Uh, for the most part, I just assume that none of what Amy's going to do when she doesn't have roses is going to kill. So I think going for the rose there would have been uh, a better idea. So what's that like two rather than three? So that's kind of unfortunate. Pretty good defense from the maxi player. I appreciate that. So yeah, he goes for stuff like uh, 4A into 2A, which uh, does kind of make sense, uh, but at the same time, mid parry could kind of give you a higher reward in that in that situation. Solid mid parry there. 4BB could have worked there too. Yeah, it gets a little bit too... Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what the 6BB does in that situation, because it's not necessarily going to beat really quick mashes if he goes for like a 2A, because it's going to be ducking under. And if you want, what you want to do is try and catch a backdash, 4A, you know, especially if you have Red Rose, 4AA in that situation, again, is going to be a lot better, right? And I think he just has to get... So, this is one thing that I noticed that Master CJ does, is that he uses 6BB to, like, poke out of pretty much the majority of situations, which is a solid thing to do when you're not 100% on your frames with Amy, but in those situations, like that one that we just saw there, you really want to be using AK a lot more often. 6BB does kind of give you, like, the setup, but the frame situation any isn't anywhere near as good as AK, which is not really a move that a lot of people, a lot of Amy players use at the moment. Uh, but it's her best minus 12 punish. Uh, it's going to put the opponent in side turn. It's going to put you a plus 4. It's going to give you essentially a situation where even if they try to mash 2A, it's just going to clash with your 1B. So uh, AK in those kinds of situations is a lot better. And AK does a pretty solid amount of work against Maxi when he's doing like his high horizontal type stuff. Yeah, there it is. We were just talking about that. Get some throw. Okay, unhand me. Really great bra grab breaks. Uh, so that's kind of unfortunate. I would say, hey, uh, you know, I think you would have recovered in time if you just did a regular 4A. But 4AA was going to kill if you were right, so I understand that. I like the fact that he stopped there, even though he had the option, what with the fact that he has Red Rose to f do the follow-up attack, just to gauge what his maxi opponent was going to do uh, when it came to, like, how punishable he could put himself. Oh, it doesn't go for the back turn B plus K. I always go for that. So the Maxi doesn't have any meter. Ooh, I assume that was a mistake. So that's unfortunate. Instead of 4BB getting a soul charge, yeah, that's bad news. See, there you can either go for a high parry or for a tech crouch or for a mid parry. Um, using those kinds... Of, yeah, he goes for 6BB yet again, but uh, 4AA would have caught him would have caught him counter hit, plus you're in soul charge. So I don't think that would have killed, but it would have put him within a hair's breadth away. This is a little bit spaghetti, and unfortunately, uh, Maxi gets the counter hit. But yeah, instead of using 6BB so often, you can use some of your better uh, moves, especially now that you have Red Rose. So he's not uh, sidestepping the last hit, so that's good. That's important information to have. So he decides to go for the full combo. I think I would have done uh, the reset there instead. 
Um, oh, he didn't get, like, the full combo. I mean, he got, you know, extra damage there, but he didn't get, like, the full combo. So, Maxi Soul Charge, that's 6 and So, AK would have worked there, too, uh, after the 6A on block, I'm pretty sure. And there's the weakness of Amy Soul Charge, right? Uh, Amy Soul Charge, not particularly powerful because the only way that you can actually maintain pressure is to go for AMSA in that situation. Uh, that's the only way that you're going to catch any sort of movement, but at the same time, that's going to lose to a mash. So unfortunately, this is one of the major weaknesses that Amy has uh, with regards to her Soul Charge, is because uh, you completely give up your initiative. Uh, but, you know, I think the matches that Master CJ has been getting, uh, now that I've been watching him uh, a little bit more often, they seem to be getting Getting better he seems to be working and thinking a lot faster if he just is able to take that kind of speed and harness it to the best of its ability making sure to capitalize on every piece that the maxi gives him and then also uh incorporating the parries uh a lot more often both defensively and aggressively he only did like one high parry k within both matches uh which i think you could have uh like confirmed a lot more seeing what uh your opponent's options were a little bit more but that tends to be something that really only I do. And you don't really need to rely on 6BB all that often. I don't really use 6BB all that often. Um, once you get more comfortable with uh, with your frames, things get a little bit easier um, to create better pressure, create better frames, and create better situations where you're not necessarily relying on 6BB, uh, especially if you're not really getting all that mileage with, uh, with AMSB. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, uh, those are the matches that I'm going to talk about today. And as uh, Boom starts doing uh, a lot more of these sets, hopefully I'll see Master CJ or potentially other Amy players in the future, and I'll get to see what they have to offer as well. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, uh, this is going to be uh, this video, and uh, I hope to see you guys next time. All right, thanks very much.